Hello everyone, this is Stunt Collector with another action figure review. And here I have the Hand Ninja Marvel Legend figure on um, which uh, built Stiltman. And this is the last figure of the Stiltman wave. Um, so here's the front for you. You get the Marvel logo there at the bottom with the Hand Ninja lettering there. Like a, a Marvel Legends series on the top for you. Here's the uh, side art of the Hand Ninja with the green eyes. That looks cool. And then here's the back. If you guys want to pause and read that, you can. And you get that same picture of the side art there. And then here's all the figures in the wave, which we went through all of them except for Hand Ninja, which we're doing. And it, they build uh, Stiltman. Not much on the top. And here's the bottom with the UPC. But besides that, let's crack him open. And here he is out of the packaging here. So first, let's go over this accessories. So first, you get uh, this little display stand for uh, Stiltman, which we'll go over once we build them. And then you get Stiltman's two legs here uh, we'll go over that too once we build them and then you get a sword for the hand ninja here so yeah that's a nice looking sword we get the nice metallic silver for the blade here and then you get the black for the grip so that's cool and then you get these like two little um i forgot what you call these but we've had i've seen them before in the red ninja and the shadow storm figure uh, th this one, these just have a little bit more paint detail into them, whereas the other ones it came with one color. Like the ha I, the Red Ninja was just completely black, and then the Shadow Storm one was just completely white. But this one they actually painted like the blade, nice metallic silver there. You get some nice looking like like little white flakes inside of it for the paint. That's pretty cool, and it looks pretty realistic. So that's cool. And you get black for the handle. Same deal on the other one. And then you get two real uh, like clenched hands or relaxing hands, whatever you want to call them. We've seen these hands before. So, and then here's the hand ninja for you. He comes with two um, holding hands for like the swords or the axes, whatever you want to call those things. Uh, and then let's go over the figure. So he has those n really cool looking green eyes. His eyes are completely green. And you get that weird looking eyebrow looking stuff going on there i don't know what's going on it kind of looks fake for me and you get the red mask obviously and you get the later it's maroon red for the mask and then you get the brighter red for the hood which is pretty cool i think we've seen this hood before except it's glued onto him instead of loose so that's i appreciate that and you get this little sword holder here on the back you don't have to peg it in or anything like that it just sits there on him so that's nice because sometimes whenever they give give us this stuff, they usually fall out. So I like this a lot more. Um, so yeah, I like the texturing for this uh, little sword holder, whatever you call it. And then you get the gray for the buckles. You get that little ninja star there. It looks like it missed a little bit of paint there. It's a lot better on this one. And then you get like the karate uh, looking shirt there i don't remember what you call them in karate i i went to karate did it for a couple of years <laughs> when i was little um and yeah so yeah you get the light red there and you get the maroon red for like the forearms here for the wraps same deal on the other side yeah and it looks like a short sleeve shirt on him where he's wearing and he's also wearing like a long sleeve red shirt underneath and you get a black belt for him I like the texturing for this. You you guys can probably see that. That's a really nice texturing for it. And then, yeah, you get the pants here. We've seen these pants before. They come with peg holes, so I'm surprised they didn't do the pegless joints like they've been trying to work on. And you get the maroon colored boots here. And you get to see like the big toe boot here. So that's pretty cool. You get the treads for the boots and yeah. But besides that, let's go over his articulation here. So his head can move down, hinge down that far. I uh, hinge up. Oh. I don't want to break it. Uh, I'm just going to go that far. Uh, you can look left and right. A uh, little hip pivoting. His shoulders can go out that far. He has a butterfly joint there. You can do 360 rotation around the shoulder there. He has a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. Uh, his wrist can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation around there. 
And this is why I like about this figure as a diaphragm joint and also a little ab crunch at the bottom like what they did with the Spider-Man figure, the retro version. So with the diaphragm joint, he can go forward like that much backwards, not a whole lot, but he can go side to side. And you got to do 360 rotation around there. So that's nice. And then he has an app crunch at the bottom here. So with all that going, he still doesn't get a whole bunch out of it. Backwards, eh, still not a whole lot. It's like normal for an app crunch right here. So it doesn't get a lot still. Um, and then uh, his legs to kick out that far forward. That far, the, the shirt kind of gets in the way there. Backwards. A little bit, quite a bit. Uh, he does have a thigh cut there. He has double jointed knees. And then he has a boot cut here. Uh, ankle hinge down that far, up that far, and nice ankle pivot. And that's it for the hand ninja. And that's the last figure in the wave. So next we'll be building uh, Stilt Man. Um, and yeah, I think he came with a pretty good amount of accessories. He looks really cool. The only problem that I have would be probably if they flip-flopped the ab crunch with the diaphragm joint and then he would get a lot more range of motion especially with the waist there he could go forward a little bit he get side a little bit more uh whereas here you barely get side to side a whole lot but and then i wish they came with the drop like the dropped hips that would be a lot uh, that would have been smart to do especially with a ninja so um, but those are my only problems with the figure, really. There was not a whole lot of problems detail-wise or uh, how he looks. I actually like how he looks, so I don't have any problems with that. I'm happy with this figure. Um, so that's all I've got.